So we continue from where we stopped in our fleet MS version 2 and I think we should be in part 36 now and it says crawled for fines and why this is a little different I'm not giving it to you as a homework we are going to do it together is because crawled for clients requires two columns okay so and crawled for clients also has to do with filtering a drop down list because if, if I show you the client model of course, this is where we are. If I go to parameters home, I go to we completed contact, but go back to parameters client. We've not completed. So I'm going to be doing this. So basic copy and paste. We're going to copy everything across and then we are going to now set the two columns and then we're going to borrow from location and also from countries. Actually, we can copy everything from location and then change it up. Now, when it comes to two columns, again, take note that there are a number of things I've added to the, to the list. So if there are some things you actually know, and there are some that you have challenges with, you can actually uh, wait till this, the time I prepare this particular video. So please subscribe so that you don't miss an update. And also, if you have challenges, please let me know. Follow me on my social network profile, be it LinkedIn or Facebook or, or, or GitHub, so you can always find me. So let's go to continue. Um, so let's see. So basically, if I show you the if I if I show you the client model, I go to model and go to client here. You can see clients have a number of fields. There are many fields, and that is why we have to use two column form, a form that has two different columns, so that we don't want users to be scrolling up and down. You want the user to see everything without scrolling. That is one principle of usability in web application. You don't want the user to scroll. Okay, so now we have a country and we have a state, meaning that we have to implement filtering just like we did in location and that will require writing a bit of JavaScript. So I do recommend we copy from location and paste. And But before I do that, because I'm going to do that offline, uh, off camera, so let me show you something about two column form. Now, if you go to assets, let me go to assets, we have certain um certain forms that are two columns i think so uh so let me just show you um if i go to so actually these are two column forms but this is not what i'm looking for um i think we are going to end up going to these are two column forms as well so i i think we're going to end up going to boots uh to bootstrap so i'm going to go to bootstrap bootstrap uh forms so from here we can find two column form and then use it. So if I scroll down, if I scroll down, I can find two column forms and then use it here. Okay. So we have one example we have here. So basically we have a row. Inside the row we have a column. Okay. Uh, inside the column we have certain inputs. So we have, inside this row we have column one. This is the first column and this is the second column but let's just go down to see if we have other things it's not this one um, let's just scroll down a little bit more okay so i tend not to see exactly what i'm looking for so but basically what two column forms is all about is in in one row you should have two columns okay then in, in column one you put a few of the controls in column two you put a few of the controls so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go back to our application. I'm going to go to, uh, to location. Um, so I'm going to duplicate location, uh, delete uh, all these locations. I'm going to duplicate it and then modify it to be two columns. Then I'm going to show you how it's going to come out. So let me do it off camera and then I get back to you. Okay, so right now I've copied uh, location um, details onto client and modified it. So let me just show you. Now, if I go to client add, now let me just show you how I've created two columns. So if I go to the panel body here, because actually you can understand how the form is laid out. So if you go to, um, you go to this, yeah. So this is where we are. So we have this container. Inside the container, we have one row. Inside the row, we have two columns. So we have this row, okay? Inside it, we have, uh, actually, we have one big column, okay? 
So inside this column, we now have um, actually, uh, yeah. So this panel body is where the magic happens. So inside this panel body, okay. So we now have two columns. Let me just show you. So we have two columns, okay. When you have a column of LG6, two column of LG6 gives you a complete column of LG12. So what it means is that inside a parent column that has LG12, it means that you can have two columns of LG6. So if you have this column here that says LG6, you can actually say LG4, LG8, uh, but it's better you have the two columns to be equal and that is it. So this is basically how it is. And I've actually split all the models based on the client. So if I go to the client model here, you can see that I've added all this all these client um, model uh, fields into the client uh, template here. And if I also go to the client edit, I've also added the, uh, sorry, not the edit, but the details, uh, no, sorry, the, the client add, I've also added the JavaScript block that we use it for filtering, because I told you that if you want to select uh, filter a drop down list by another drop down list, you must use some JavaScript, actually jQuery uh, script. And that is what I did here. I already explained to you when we talked about a uh, location uh, page where we did select state by country. I already explained that to you. So you simply copy and paste and just save, uh, uh, change everything, anything. But in this case, this script has to do with selecting country. Uh, uh, selecting state based on country, so you don't have to change it. So exactly the script, I copied it from locations and used it uh, right here. So let's go ahead to test the uh, client's um, crowd operations on the client's page. And if it works, that is great. Then we now not know that we, are, we can move to something else. So I'm going back here, I'm going to refresh and I'm going to client, manage client, and it doesn't work. So that's the same problem we had before. And if we, if we go back to look at the error log here, it can tell us, it tells us that the template is not found. Meanwhile, the template is there. So to resolve it, I think I'm going to close the application. So let me cancel it. Let me close the application and then reopen it. I think this problem is going to be resolved once I do that. So I'm going to say file, open resigned and open fleet MS version 2. At uh, this time, I think the problem will be solved. So I'm going to click here. All right, while it is starting, let's take a look at where we are. So we are talking about crowd for clients. Okay, that's fine. So let me go back to parameters. So I'm going to hit the enter key. So this is where we are. I'm going to go manage clients and I've added two clients right here, as you can see. So if I go to edit, edit works, I'm going to exit from edit and go to, I think, details and details also works. So I can actually just enter a new address and save and save. Okay, so if I go back to check, you can see that actually something went wrong. So let me just see here. So actually it didn't save. So that I give you as an assignment to troubleshoot why the address did not save. That's your assignment. I'm going to do it offline to solve it as well. All right, so the more interesting um, part of this tutorial is coming when we are going to be doing about unit, unit tests, uh, in-page crowd, Angular UI, Kubernetes, and other things. This is going to be really interesting, but I'm trying to kind of prepare your mind for what is to come. So we've done crowd for client. Next will be crowd for suppliers. It's also going to be two page, uh, two column uh, data entry form. And I'd like to recommend you please try to do it yourself. Copy and paste. And it's exactly the same way we, all, uh, we did the client. That's how the supplier also works. So if I go back to our application to parameters page, we have client works now, but we don't have suppliers. So work on that as your homework and then we see in the next part. Meanwhile, remember to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any challenges, please do let me know in the comment box below. Follow me on my social network profile. In that way, I could know that you actually um, uh, 
uh, put in much effort. I mean, you are serious trying to learn how to create an application. So in that way, I could give you the support you need. I remain kind on the tech pro and I'm always there for you.